person it's toxic stuff. to uh, slow down the traffic out on the four lane. They advised they have a large eruption at Shell. It's moving toward their tank farm right now. Oh, it's moving toward their tank farm. They just got that award for having one of the safest plants in the country here just a few weeks ago. They <laughs> don't have an explosion. I was just starting down the stairs and I heard that and I thought, why? Oh, I was laying there in bed listening to this and I heard that boom. And I jumped up out of there and Chris came out of the shower and said, what happened? I said, there's been an explosion in DuPont. And I looked over and I thought it was a DuPont plant. Uh, didn't realize it was on the other side of it. Boy, when you can see the thing oh. clear down here. Okay, I, things were going on there and I didn't even look to see catch a name. That's, that's the least they're worried right there. What? Yeah, Roger, I didn't know whether to uh, wind my watch or what. I knew I didn't want to be up there. You got that right. You got that right. He said it'd be only it's moving toward their tank. What did they say? It's tank, it's tank area or tank, something. They're they're tank area. Right this That's where all the products store. Look all at those the, big one here. I certainly have to get them out. He said it's coming right toward the DuPont plant. See, that? that's toxic fumes. See, they'll have to abandon yep. everything over here. He said... Explosion. This is Friday, May the 27th, with this explosion at Shell Oil. It is just all over the place. Belfry. About 6.30 a.m. The sky is just full of black smoke.
I have been told within the last few minutes that uh, there is a possibility that uh, the firefighters may make a uh, organized attack with foam later on this afternoon. Now, Sheriff uh, Slicker, uh, Bob Slicker, didn't tell me for sure if that was going to be the case, but he did tell me that they are stockpiling foam, so there may be uh, an organized uh, full attack on the fire later on this afternoon, much probably like the case was the other evening with the fire up at Newport, Ohio. Uh, from from my vantage point, even away from the plant, it is an unbelievable sight. There are flames coming up from the uh, uh, location, as you may have seen when uh, John was on live just a moment ago, and, and they, they absolutely show no assi sign of abating in any way. Now, I'm told where the major part of the fire is now is called the tank farm area. Now, I believe that's a few hundred yards away from the uh, was said before that it is a hydrocarbon fire, not a, a fire of a, of a toxic substance. All morning long we have seen um, practically a raining uh, uh, foam rubber coming from the site, uh, from the plant site, and uh, we might have even seen some debris uh, before we left the uh, location there. Uh, we're maybe another briefing later on this afternoon where you're told but whatever information we do get, uh, little by little, as we have all morning, we'll try to pass along to you. Yeah, we had not really before when a major concern of course was the wind running the flames. Is that so major concern that you've been able to detect it now? I don't think the, the wind is as much a factor as it, uh, as it was a while ago. It seems to me that it's died down a bit. Now, earlier I saw the uh, smoke from the fire going across the river. It seems now to be headed in a, in a more of a straight up uh, location so it's not being uh, fanned as much as it was. But, uh, Obviously, the environmental concern is still a problem there, but it doesn't see the wind doesn't seem to be fanning the flames any. Okay, thank you very much, Todd Bowser. Again, reporting live from the Shelf Chemical Plant in Belfry. We do have one other piece of information to pass along to you. We had enough before uh, that local schools are closed today. Wood County schools are not uh, closed and they are not being evacuated. We have a lot of concerned parents on those schools listening to all this information. Again, they are not being evacuated and they are not being closed. But if you are concerned about your children's safety, you can go pick your children up if you'd like to. They, they do understand. Again, we'd like to stress that these things are not toxic. They are not toxic. And we will be going back to Tom Bowser live a little bit at the end of the newscast to again assess you know, what's going on at the Shelf Chemical Plant. And coming up next on WTAP, on a much lighter note, we'll have a look at our set of these.
of information about the evacuation. Things happening so quickly, and it is kind of hard to keep up.